Look at me, all dressed up, ready to go for another ride in some really horrible weather. Although, I'm not ready yet, obviously. By the way, Scott, your mug is wearing. We are two weeks in to wearing the Ultra Human Ring Air that I have here. Uh, I just got my uh, two or three week insight analysis through their app. It was really interesting to see how when I first had this ring, I first started wearing it the first week, I wasn't actually training and my metrics were like pretty good like my sleep my movement like everything was fairly like then the second i started training and throwing in that extra workload and that stress my word like i, I was struggling to get to sleep uh like i was actually sleeping for a lot less even though i was more tired so i wasn't recovering they all just had like a real knock-on effect until now which is like two three weeks afterwards i'm back into some sort of routine and everything seems to be on the upward trend again. In other news, I went for a gravel ride the other day. I'm actually going for a gravel ride again today, but solo. We did a little bit of exploring. We uh, we headed towards Swansea, went over the Goa. We bumped into a really nice Italian gentleman who was like talking to us about our bikes and you know, how much they cost and uh, what sort of pressures and tires we were running. And he was a keen cyclist, just hadn't done any off-roading or like multi-terrain riding maybe we've converted somebody but it was good to bump into someone who showed a genuine interest in what we were doing and we headed to the beach we had a really rocky descent down into this sort of like really secret area that i don't think many people know of um called putti and we did have to do a fair bit of hiker bike to get out of there i must admit so it was a bit of a disaster on my part, planning the route to go all the way down there. But but it was good fun. We had like muddy, sloppy trails. We had some really gnarly, rocky sections. We had like coastline. We had strong winds. We had big puddles. And we even crossed a golf course at one point that I wasn't recording because we were crossing a golf course. Dunvant. Now, the last time I came down here, there's a lot of horses that have been down here. Is this a cliff head? Not quite. It does say. Go away, man. Go away. I should have done that. Come on, let's do that then. <laughs> 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 I didn't try and stop with you. I did not try and stop in the same place, right? I just shut the f***ing... Blinking, blinking, blinking. That was... Ah. I think that's what... Uh... Oh, no. This is what um, David Miller calls terminal velocity. Ah, oh, this is a bit different to our... In slightly different news, Hexis Live have just brought out a new update to their software for coaches. Uh, it's the nutrition app that I've been using, which I can now use as part of my coaching packages. They already work with Trinity Racing, if you've heard of them, and the Q36.5. I don't even know if you say the 0.5 or do you just say Q36.5? They work with a bunch of rugby teams, but specifically in cycling, it's quite important to obviously periodize your carbohydrate and obviously make sure you get enough energy in full stop. The core chap is pretty cool. I am definitely getting some use out of it already. Actually, some of you might not know that my primary source of income is actually cycle coaching. And I've been helping riders now for almost uh, a decade from elite level racers hill climbers, challenge seekers. Now, if you follow this channel for any length of time, no doubt you'd have seen how passionate I am about health, fitness, and just cycling in general. And my, and one of my favorite things about cycling is that you can periodize and plan and really nail down a strategy for trying to achieve a goal. You'd have seen that countless of times on this channel, of course, but the whole behind the scenes just appeals to me. And that's why I've always loved coaching for a variety of different reasons, but specifically that one reason that applies to my own cycling is the planning, 
the execution and the preparation that is involved. I only mention it because I've actually had one or two messages recently asking if I do coaching or mentorship or training plans, one-to-one, -one, custom built, and the answer is yes. So if you're interested, send me a message, email me, I'll leave the details down below, and I will send you more information. Wait, that sounded like an ad. Hmm. I probably have to, do I have to label this paid partnership now? I probably do, don't I? Well, that wasn't a bad all right. Two, just under two hours, 38 kilometers, 800 meters of elevation gained, and normalized power of 210. So I've got to make some uh, food now, which I have to tell you about, because it's an amazing recipe called honey garlic shredded chicken done in the slow cooker. It's very tasty, uh, but I need to get clean first, I need to get like warm again, and we're also doing a session tonight on Zwift, so yeah. Okay, I've just finished prepping off the slow cooker, I'm looking for the lid, here it is, I'm going to put that on, there is the chicken, sticky chicken, that's going to go on for four hours on high. The recipe is from this book called Board of Lunch, the, the Healthy Slow Cooker Book by Nathan Anthony. And the honey garlic shredded chicken, uh, it does ask for chicken thighs, but I've done it with chicken breasts. Four tablespoons of honey, three tablespoons of sriracha, eight garlic cloves, five uh, tablespoons of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, one tablespoon of tomato puree, and a little bit of corn flour mixed in to thicken, I imagine. Uh, and then to serve, you basically serve it with some spring onions to garnish, and you can have it then in like, I don't know, maybe like a sandwich, or we're gonna probably have it with some white rice after we jump off the turbo later. Alexa, set timer for four hours. Where's the thing? What thing? Is it? Yeah. Woo. Oh, it's not fully absorbed yet, though. Come on, look. It smells Camelons. so good. Is it steamed up? <laughs> yeah, you want a bit of sauce to go with the rice, though. It's all sticky. <laughs> Oops. Is this your favourite slow cooker recipe? Definitely. 100%. I want to eat it every day now. So we're going to have rice with it. We're going to have some broccoli because we need some greens. Do you like my t shirt that I got from when I went towards the Tour de France? And I had to fight it. Didn't I have to fight someone to get it? People just go nuts for these things. It's nearly see through now, though. It's like stretched. <laughs> Look how much it's stretched. It's like massive. I, I need to give some context. They throw these out of the circuses that fall around the Tour de France. Uh, the little vans and stuff. So that's why I had to fight people for it. <laughs> 